Hey, Shalom. That brought us to the Apostles of GMS, honest youth officers that be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, and as you, man, if 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 you're not watching right now, man, then man, it's better time. You know, it's time you probably start watching. Okay. All right, because he's in a big and in a major way, as we have seen, man, through um, through the what the most I had helped to set up the brothers in that man. We got a forum where we post articles and all of that. And you just you seen them articles be popping up, man. This thing is popping off, man. All right, it's high time. The scripture says, and I'm 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 gonna quote them for the purposes of this video and time and so on and so forth. I don't want to make it too long winded and all of that. All right. But like the scripture says, man, right, it is high time to wake up out of sleep. With all of this stuff that's going in the in the world, man, it's we ain't got no time for no no more nonsense, man. You really don't have no time for nonsense, man. Hey, if you wanna make time for nonsense, go on, make some time for nonsense, man. And see if you don't slip a, see if you don't miss a step. All right, because the most I will have you, most I will cater to your pleasures, man. You you'll find yourself in a good situation. But guess what, man? When it, when the end, which is so ever, which is ever getting closer. When that catches you up, man, when it overtakes you, like that's, that the scripture says, man, don't don't let that day overtake you, man. All right. When it overtakes you, man, that's gonna be that's gonna be you. All right. Then you're gonna remember, look, man, those pleasures, those worldly pleasures, like this, hey, the most I said to Ezra, the best, man. Put put away put away your. I think it's in the book of Second Ezra, the the sixteenth chapter, maybe. All right. But I know it's in the book of Second Ezra, man. He put he pretty much taught Ezra, man. Put away from you mortal thoughts, man. And suck it up, man. All right. This tribulation is just for a moment, man. Get this word pumping out, man. And and in getting this word pumping out, guess what? You are gonna feel better, right? Because them demons are gonna leave you, man. And you are gonna feel like, oh, wait, hold on a minute, man. All right. I see. I see. Uh, uh, um, the ferocity of the matter. All right. I see the 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 needfulness in me focusing on this truth, man. Because this thing is getting ready to pop off. All right. It's ready. This thing is getting ready to pop up. What you got? Russia and America in the same in the same country, right? Fighting against a, an, a, a quote unquote enemy, a common enemy, but they're both enemies. What do you think is gonna come out of that, man? Well, you think that it's gonna destroy ISIS and they're gonna return back into their normal lives? Come on, man. All right. And this article is gonna be tied to that. It's gonna mention that in a little bit later on. And I'm gonna go into the article I got in the background here in RT. Right, showing you that they set up, you know, they're trying to set up new, new, um, new headquarters and bases out there, and in the in the in the Middle East, ironically, on the borders of Russia again. All right, they want to get forty odd thousand. What do you think they're gonna do with the extra forty thousand, forty thousand soldiers gonna put out there? They're just gonna be eating McDonald's out there or something, chilling, right? There and you know, looking at them Arab women and that man. You think this they're gonna be doing? Just gonna be chilling. All right. They're gonna be going, they're gonna be getting it in, man. They're gonna be going to war, man. All right? And part of what you, you you know what most people don't realize, they're actually losing against them Arabs, man. That's why they have to persistently, constant and constantly, uh, um, uh, um, up up their um, uh, what you call it, the, the the military, the number of people, the, the the personnel that you actually got on the ground there, man. All right? When they was in, right, they was getting their asses whooped, man. Right, that's why you had all them soldiers going up there, but they were getting their asses whooped, man. Cause them, them dudes there, man. There's a difference between a soldier that that is ready to die for for their cause, and a soldier that dies for their cause. It's a big difference, man. Right? And a lot of these American soldiers, man, you man, they're ready, you ready, you really done seen how weak the Americans are, man. Right, they 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 allowed it for two men to get married, man. So you know how weak the American society is. So they when they go over there into the Middle East, man, they get they getting their asses whooped, man. They're getting their asses handed to it, man. All right. But ultimately, like it says in the book of Joel, man. Ultimately, the Mosai is really just holstering up the the. the uh, he's, he, like it says, man. It says he, the Lord must up the host to battle into the valley, valley of decision. Roughly paraphrasing, I believe it's in the book of Joel, the second chapter. If not the second chapter, it will be in the third chapter. But both chapters is good because he talks about um pretty much talks. One of them talks about the the missiles, and the other one talks about a cap captivity, man. Coming out of this captivity that we're in right now. See, this is glorious times, man. This is wine. This is drink. You know, you know, this is drinks worth. You know, when you see articles like this, man, you should be glorifying the name of your heart by shimmy your heart shine. You know what? I don't do it enough. All right? I don't do it enough. When you see this stuff, man, it ain't just mundane. It ain't just, oh, yeah, there's just another, another article. This is, this is serious stuff, man. All right? Hey, 
I'll, I'll put it like this, man. If it was the NBA Finals, man, all right, and it was bringing out articles on this level, this would be like, you know, Kobe Bryant getting injured. Derrick Rose getting injured. Niggas would get all up into that. Oh, but if Derrick Rose wasn't injured, this would have happened. If Kobe Bryant wasn't injured, this would have happened. Just the same thing with this, man. Hey, if 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 America and Russia were in the same space, maybe just maybe they'll be hoping this society. But guess what, man? The most I didn't set it up for that, man. Anyways, enough of the talking. Let me get into this, man. It says world economy is in deep, deep trouble, but it's all part of the big manipulation. I'm gonna read a little bit. Of this is all kind of. You know, there's bones in there, but there's also some um, some meat in there. So I'll leave you to decipher it. I'll break down as much as I can. And, um, you know, what I can't, I can't, you know, but in time, I'll, I'll, as well, I'll get to the understanding. All right. And, you know, if you want to leave comments, you can leave comments. You know, just things to think about. All right. Um, with continued uncertainty in the global markets today, 50-year market veteran warned King World News that the world economy is in, for, is in trouble, but... He also said that it's all part of the big manipulation, he says. Um, uh, John Embry, last Friday, right, the Eric, Eric, right, the price of gold shot up in, in, in the wake of the, dis, uh, the disappointing job numbers in the uh, United States. And he goes on to, to say some heavy points concerning them, the, the, um, the job markets out there in the United States, and of which the United States just represents all of them, um, all of the different countries, all of the so-called westernized countries. They have, the United States represents all of those because they function in the same global uh, marketing system, man. All right, it says which was materially lower than the econo economic economists predicted. Says, but gold was uh, rallying right from fifty dollars lower than the high of the previous week. It says, but if gold right hadn't been taken down hard last week the lousy job numbers wouldn't have wouldn't, wouldn't have sent the prices of gold to at least a thousand two hundred which it was like a thousand two hundred about four years ago so they fluctuate you know we know they play these these markets man oh right, we really know that all right all right so but this is just the premise it says this would have attracted even more attention to the investors regardless and very in, i am very encouraged by the recent actions in the silver market and it's very healthy for silver to be leading the metals uh, higher, it says for people who uh, follow the markets as closely as I do. Uh, last week's uh, rally in gold, as well as in um, as well as in the week previous, where both kept off uh, kept at two percent gains. Right, so no, so anybody right who can't see the manipulation in the metals markets, right, has their eyes shut. Right, so pretty much he's saying that the growth that he that they experience over you know whatever how you know the previous week and so on and so forth we capped off at two percent all right going to show you what th this next statement is going to say man and this was henry this was this, this was a statement by by the man henry ford who was who's known for um for the company ford you know with the, with the cars and so on and so forth all right of which he you know he made all that money because pretty much he he took um uh, um you know the the foundations that we set forth in the engineering realm right Namely the uh, um, what you call it the conveyor belts and so on and so forth. I mean, he set up his factories like a, like a conveyor belts to get them them cars up uh, quicker, all right? Therefore driving the prices down. All right? He says it is well enough, but so, so so this dude had money, in other words. But not only money, the elites. He was all, he was he would have been classed as one of the you know he could have been a higher elite. I'm, I don't know the man's history, but he could have been a higher elite because the way you know if if you own a company, if you if you are the creator of a company like Ford. You have to make certain allegiances for that company to shoot up as 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 much as it did. Don't forget, Ford owns co companies such as uh, Mustang and so on and so forth, man. All right, so this guy was a devil. All right, he says it is well enough that the people of the nation do not understand our banking and monetary system. For if they did, right, I believe there would be a revolution before tomorrow morning. So in essence, he's saying if if the people were, you know was watching the news reports today, all right. And and the understanding came out on the financial markets and is that it's all bullshit, it's all manipulation, right? There will be a revolution tomorrow, man. So that's the devil telling you that, letting you know that he knows he's a devil, man. It says the big manipulation. It says, but this is all part of the bigger undertaking of uh, by the authorities to, in order to keep stocks and bonds evaluated, elevated in the ever expanding bubble. So as the bubble gets bigger with all all of that low interest, right? And the housing, uh, the housing, um, the, you know, the low interest housing markets, as you've as you've had it so far, right? 
as 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 much as that expands right now, man, as 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 it's ever expanding and so on and so forth, man, they're gonna manipulate the markets to, to keep it expanding. Cause you know what, man? All right, we they should have been a crash already, man. They should have been a crash, man. It's like um, it's like um, all you got all of them volcanoes that have been lying dormant, and they're about a hundred years out. Why? Because the Lord is hastening the day, man. All right, he's hastening the day when he's gonna let the, just gonna, everything just gonna fall to shit, man. Everything's going to fall to shit. And you know what? As you people cry, we're going to drink. And we're going to we're gonna have a good old fucking time, man. Because everything's going to be in order. You women, all right? We take a lot of problem with these women. Because these women ain't fucking right any goddamn way. In this, in this society. All right? All right? But the minute everything falls to shit, you women are going to fall in line. And you know what? All your problems are going to be solved overnight. For you Jake men out there. All right? Because you know, you, Jake don't want to share. No, no, no. You, Jake, Jake don't want to share a woman. Because these women are hoes. And Jake don't want to don't don't want to be you know don't want that one disease called one giant you know so so that's gonna fall in line. Not only that, the most is gonna have it to where he's gonna come back. And he's gonna say, up. Oh, it ain't just about women. It ain't just about uh, 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 calling the so-called white man the devil. There's a there's a lot to this thing, man. Right, far more that I can go to that I can get into detail in, in this video, man. Pretty much, man. Like the scripture says, all right. Right, it's gonna be perfect rest. All right, it's gonna be perfect rest. That's that's that, that's it, man. Because even if you think you, you know you're doing all right, like I say all the time, you might think you're doing all right, man. You think you might think you're you're hitting every point in every in, in all your life, right? And you're okay, man. And you're you're lying down in your bed and you can't get to sleep. Why? Because you're worried, man. Why? Because this society is fucked up, man. All right. There ain't no rest in this society, and that's why in the book of Michael, the second chapter, in the tenth verse, it says, "Arise, ye depart." For this is not your rest, man. I, my, is it Micah 2 and 10? I, I, it might be Micah 2 and 10. The quote's correct, but the scripture might not be. Hey, you know, you're welcome to challenge that. I'll get you more into the scriptures, you know. Right, it says, a, and a significant decline in both uh, would obviously, right, it says, and these assets, and uh, and these assets formed the collateral and the uh, disastrously over, over, right, a leveraged financial system, and a significant decline in both would, Obviously, jeopardize the highly uh, leveled global uh, banking system, whose balance sheets are, pop uh, are polluted, right, with bad loans, right, and mispriced derivatives. Man, and them bad loans, them housing. You know, you got a lot of proud guys out here, man. I got them at the job, and they, oh, I bought this house, and oh, we did this, and oh, we went to this holiday. Yeah, but where did the money for all that come from, man? All right, we work in the same company. Where did you get all that money from, man? Right, and a lot of them people, man, they're paying for that stuff. You want to pay it over the, over the course of the year, man. Right, you're you know you're technically your part to blame for your your own downfall, man. Right, but like it said, like the dude said, man, if they knew, man, if they knew, they wouldn't take those loans, man. Right, but see, you've been deceived because you're an asshole. Because like the brother says <laughs> you're a farm animal, all right. Because you're a farm animal, right. You went out there and you took those loans, man. Right, because these elites knew that if they made it easy enough but hard enough to understand, easy enough to get the loan but hard enough to, to understand the loan, you was going to get those loans anyway. So you got those loans. Right, so they're going to put you into slavery by where those, the, the, the mark, mark of the beast, because this mark is going to fall to shit, man. Right, it's going to fall to shit. Right, it says, but coming back to the jobs numbers, uh, wait, hold on a minute. I lost my, uh, where's my pointer, man? Where was that? Yeah, 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 that's it. But coming back to the jobs numbers, it is just it was it was it is just confirmed that it is what is really happening in the United States, rather than the bogus numbers that the government turns out. So what you're seeing on the mainstream media with the jobs numbers that they got out there, that's incorrect. In other words, it says now looking inside the numbers, which I think is chronically overstated, right? To begin with, the manufacturing jobs being uh, lost, right? While jobs for waiters and, uh, and proliferate, uh, proliferated, all right. It says so. I used to know what at, at, at our means, but I don't. I don't remember anymore. You can search that in, in Google. It says so. This is not exactly a wealth creating situation because you ain't gonna. You see the middle class, which use usually um, the middle class, which usually um, is uh, encompassed around manufacturing jobs, all right. It's non-existent within America anymore. So, hey, America's 
a, in, a really in all of the Western countries with the um, exception of China. That's why China has been shooting up. But they think they're going to be the next superpower. But see, you ain't going to do that, man. The Lord said he's going to empty out his bowels on on, 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 on Moab. All right? This is, uh, it says 9.4 million Americans jobless and the world economy is in deep trouble. It says perhaps the most significant was the number of non-working Americans reached a new, a, a new high of 94.5 million. It says labor participation rates plunged to low uh, last seen um, in 1977 when there was only one income supporting the families. In other words, and that's, so that's really, really, really bad. Right, that's really, really, really bad. Okay, so what they're saying is unemployment is so bad, right, that it's never been this bad this, since 1977. But in 1977, there was fewer families with two incomes. So in other words, the population, how they work this jobless, joblessness rate relative to the population, right, but also, you know, thinking outside the box, you also have to factor in population growth and so on and so forth and uh, immigration. However, if we consider the difference between, uh, uh, but that's still not half, you know, you ain't going to get a, a population increase relative to, to joblessness of, of 50%. You might do, but not really, man. All right. So what they, pretty much what they're saying here, man, right, half the jobs is, uh, are pretty much gone in, 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 in a roundabout way. Because in 1977, you had half the people working, right? But you had 94.5 million people, uh, people out of, out of work. Now we got 94.5 million people out of work, but you got, we got everybody working. Everybody needs a job. All right. So it says. Uh, so I think, all right. I think it, it is important because you can't support, you can't support, you can't, go, you can't have a one, you know, a single income family anymore, man. All right. Just to expand upon that point, just in case it, you know, it slipped over your head. He right, says, so I think it is important not to belittle anyone. So I think it is important, right, Eric, that your readers understand that the, that the world economy is in deep trouble because additional debt can no longer support growth. All right. So, you know, I, you know what they did to support the growth between 2008 and right up until now, they inflated the markets, reduced the interest rates that you needed to um to get um to get to, to get housing loans and car loans and so on and so forth. But you can't. You can't reduce any. You can't get more debt. You can't. You, you can't go. You can't. You, you can get negative interest, but you'd be just get putting people money, money, putting uh, money into people's pockets, man. All right? Which is, you know, you could do that, but is that really gonna boost the economy? Are they really? Is the is your government, the American government, really gonna go to negative interest to where they they're giving you their money? Like they at least are gonna empty out their pockets. That's not gonna happen, man. They're gonna make this. The biggest crash ever, so you, you you're completely dependent on the government to so could ball up on you, man. Right? It says the, this podcast, this point has been a long forecast by those who believe that the um, believe in the Austerian uh, school of econ economics. It says the the massive new quantities that have been created since the global financial market crisis have done nothing more than to keep the system afloat, right? And ensure an ever worsening and oh man. All right, let me read that again. It says the massive new quantities that have been created since the global financial crisis 2008, right? And the quantities that have been created, the 26, well, it must be in the, let's, let's go to the American debt clock and find out, man. All right. Because you've wrecked up a lot of debt, man. All right. American debt clock. All right. Let's see how much, you, let's see how much you're, 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 you're racking up to now, man. Last time I checked, it was like 26 trillion. Is this even? That's not even the the site, man. American debt clock, U.S. debt clock. That's it, man. All right. So those massive quantities. All right. Oh, sorry, sorry. Apologies. I saw it when it was like a 15 trillion or something like that. All right. So now it's at 18 trillion. All right. Which is those are ridiculous numbers, man. Those are in inconceivable numbers. I don't even, I don't, I don't, I don't, you, most people don't even know the difference between an English billion, right, and, and, and an American billion, let alone a fucking trillion, and 18 of them motherfuckers, all right, let's go back to this article, so it says, um, the massive new quantities that have been uh, created since the global financial market crisis have done nothing more than 
um, keep the system afloat. So since 2008, they've just been like I've already mentioned. It, so I don't, I'm not gonna say it again. All right, so, so, uh, so more than keeping the system afloat and ensure never worsening ending. And that's important because it's gonna be ever, ever, this is the end of end all ends, or end of all financial markets. And it says as the world deter uh, deteriorates, right? Your perf uh, you must uh, protect yourself. And the only way you can do that is by way of the scriptures. Like the scripture says, my uh, knowledge and stability is gonna be knowledge is gonna be the stability at that times. But you can only you gonna get that knowledge once once everything goes crazy. You think you know the prophet's gonna be out there, you know, doing what we're doing, man. They're gonna be we're gonna be, you know, we're gonna be doing our thing, man. The most is gonna have it to where hey, so called white man really is gonna roll on us, man. Right, when this thing goes down, man, you, you read you read as it's uh, documented in, in in Project Megiddo and Rex and all of that. That's gonna be um that's pretty much you know outlines the fact that they're just gonna oust all of them religions, let alone any black Hebrew Israelite movement, man. Oh, they'll they'll you know you you I U I C guys, you, you distance yourself so much, and you're gonna be so much a part of this society. You will find out, all right, that you're not a part of this society when that Rex program comes into effect, man. All right, it says now compounding matters, the geopolitical front is in deteriorating rapidly as well. It says the U S looks inept on the foreign front as Afghanistan is becoming a major problem once again. This is in the Middle East is a nightmare for the US as Vladimir Putin has gained the upper hand right with his actions in Syria. He says, I think it is important for the people to keep a close eye on the war because it is potentially explosive. Alright? It's potentially ex explosive. Now let's touch on that a little bit, man. Right? and this is this is this is what NATO's doing, right, to, to, to counter that so called explosive situation that they got out there in the Middle East. Right? It says NATO to create new headquarters in Hungary and Slovakia out there in the middle out there in Eastern Europe towards towards Russia and says uh, boost response forces. Right? And this is really just for the figures and just to let you know what kind of, you know, what time we're in right now, man. It says NATO plans to boost its response forces, the Alliance seek uh, Secretary General John Stol uh, Stol Stol Stoltenberg said, adding that that two more headquarters are to be created in Eastern Europe, in Hungary and Slovakia. All right. Let me see if we got some numbers there. All right. Um. Let's read more. Hey, that that that's a good article as well. All right. I, I, um. I don't know if I did a video on that, but that's a good article to check out. Let me see this one. Sure, I read some numbers when I read this a little bit earlier when I was preparing for this. But nevertheless, you're seeing it, man. It says calling the current reinforcements biggest since the end of the Cold War. And that's a statement in itself, all right. And that's a nice statement to close out, man. So pretty much with that, you know, hey, you know, hopefully, I, I, you know, I brought it out in such a way, you know, that it was uh, um, easy to understand. But it's a lot of information to try to bring out in a in a short enough video for. For, for for Jake, you know, because you got you got, you know, there's more important videos out there to be really watching. The elders, and the brothers out there pushing this word and that, all right? Honor, which also honor and double honor to the elders. Be onto your brothers, all right? Those were that was you know of some edification, all right? And um, you know, you brothers out there, man, you keep, you keep up, man, you keep it strong, man, all right? With that, shalom.